Hello, travelers. Justin from Adventures Away. And today, I'm going to share my plan that I use to set myself and my family up financially to travel whenever and wherever we want. This is not financial advice by any means, but it is a legitimate method that I personally am using for me and my family. Please don't forget to subscribe for more vacation tips, tricks, and content. Without any more of a delay, let's dive in. Mainly everyone wants to travel way more than they are actually able to, whether it is because of vacation time from work or they are financially unable to travel a lot. As you progress in your career and gain vacation time from your job, or maybe looking to retire, this does solve the not having the time problem. However, this does leave the financial problem with traveling, which still could leave some people at home if you did not plan accordingly. Starting to set yourself up for success early is key to being able to be financially able to travel as much as you want. One way I am doing this is by investing in good dividend-paying stocks on a consistent basis. The two companies I invest in the most are Realty Income and Enbridge. Both of these companies have a long and solid history of paying high-yield dividends, as well as consistently increasing the dividend year after year. For this video, I want to focus on Enbridge since it is the cheaper stock for novel retail investors to purchase. Investing these days is so easy and convenient compared to even 10 years ago. You can make trades on your phone from anywhere you have an internet connection. I use Weeble as my trading platform, mainly due to the fact of how easy their platform is to navigate. If you want to open a Weeble account and follow me, as I set myself up for vacation freedom, use the link in the description to sign up for free and start investing. Enbridge is currently trading at around $36 at the time of this recording, and pays $0.67.3 cents per share every quarter as a dividend, adding up to $2.69 annually per share. Now, ask yourself, how can you pay for your future vacations off of $2.69 per year? Well, you can't off of one share, but using the snowball effect with monthly contributions, you could turn that $2.69 into well over $5,000 per year of income. This method is how Warren Buffett came to amass his billions of dollars worth of stocks when he purchased his first stocks in the early 1940s. For this video, I'm going to assume the stock price stays at $36 forever, and the dividend stays the same with no increases or decreases. It is highly likely 20 years down the road, the stock price will be higher, but it very well could be lower as well. That is one of the risks you take while investing and using this method. Enbridge has also increased their dividend annually over the last 29 years, but we are going to keep it the same for the sake of this example. With that being said, I want to ask you all, how many of you have more than one streaming service that you pay every month for? I know I do, between Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Netflix, Max, and Prime Video. According to NerdWallet, consumers in 2023 spent an average of $48 per month on streaming services. Streaming services are something that you want, but will very rarely ever need. If you take that $48 per month and invest $36 of it and purchase one share of Enbridge every month and reinvest the dividends, after 20 years, you will be bringing in $1,450 per year in dividends. Now, $1,450 may not seem like a lot per year, but it is $1,450 every year you can continue to reinvest into more stocks or spend on vacations. After 20 years, you have also amassed $19,500 worth of Enbridge stock with only investing $9,000 of your own money. This is the beauty of the snowball effect. By purchasing one share each month for 20 years, you will have purchased 240 shares of Enbridge. But by reinvesting your dividends into more stock, you will now own 540 shares which is 300 shares you didn't pay for that are bringing in even more on their own. If you are fortunate enough that from the beginning you can purchase two shares a month at $72 per month, after 20 years, you will be bringing in $2,900 in dividends yearly. This would also account for $34,000 worth of Enbridge with only investing a little over $17,000 of your own money. At the end of 20 years, you can cash out and put that money to a dozen cruises or you can leave it and let the dividends do the work for you, which is what I would suggest. Let the stock do the work for you and only take out what you need to travel later on in life. 
This will maximize your investment that you worked so long to build up. This is why you are better off starting as early as you can, since the more years you can do this process, the more it works for you. Let me show you what I mean using the one share a month example I briefly went over already. After five years, this method brings in $188 per year in dividends, with the shares worth almost $2,500, with $2,100 of that invested with your own money. Nothing life-changing after five years, but you will have to start somewhere. After 10 years, you are now bringing in $470 a year in dividends, with your shares now worth around $6,300, with $4,300 of that being your own money. We are now picking up the speed after hitting the 10-year mark. After 15 years, $880 a year in dividends are now rolling in your way, with your total shares now worth almost $12,000, with only putting in $6,500. You have now almost doubled your money from your investment, keeping in mind this is only putting in $36 a month into Enbridge. You will consistently put in roughly the same amount of money each year, one year after the next, but your total value and dividends are growing at an exponential rate. After 20 years, you have nearly doubled your dividends to $1,450 a year, as well as having shares worth about $19,500 and piling up $8,600 of your own money. Every five years with reinvesting dividends earned, you're increasing your dividends by around 60% in those five years. After 25 years, you are now bringing in $2,300 a year in dividends with your shares worth almost $31,000, with a third of that, about $10,800, is your investment. Now you're talking about having a seven-day cruise paid for, depending on the time of the year, every year, after year 25, if you stop investing. If you sell out completely, you will be able to pay for about 10 seven-day cruises with that $11,000 you initially invested. Let's say you started this process when you were 25 years old, and 30 years later, $3,550 per year in dividends would be coming your way, and your shares would be worth almost $48,000. Your $13,000 investment has now paid for itself four times over, and will continue to bring in that $3,550 per year for as long as you own the stock. When you are 60 years old, doing this method for 35 years, you would rake in $5,300 per year in dividends, and your shares would be worth $71,000. That $15,000 investment over the last 35 years now has almost paid for itself five times over and can now pay for two seven-day cruises per year from here on out. Do you see what I'm saying as a snowball effect? That little snowball you started with has turned into an avalanche. If you have been purchasing two shares a month, after 30 years, you would be receiving $7,100 in dividends and your shares would be worth $95,000. All of that stock owned and only $26,000 invested of your own money over 30 years, over a 4x return, plus a pile of stock you can offload if you would need or want to. If you're still watching because this method interests you, I do want to thank you, but we're not done yet. This is only one example of how to save and invest to make yourself financially set later in life, and does not include your 401k or pension you may receive at work. Remember that you have been spending less purchasing one share a month over the streaming services that you spend, letting those shares work for you. One thing that you need to remember is that dividends are counted as taxable income when you file your taxes every year. So keep that in mind come April 15th. Uncle Sam will want to take his cut. Don't forget to sign up for your free Weeble account using the link in the description below and get to trading and letting your money work for you. I use several other methods to lessen the financial burden of traveling and I touch on every method that I use in this video here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more vacation content. This has been Justin from Adventures Away. Until next time, travelers, have a great one.